Exodus chapter 9. Then Yahweh said to Moshe, Go into Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says Yahweh, the Elohim of the Evrim, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For if you refuse to let them go and still hold them, behold, the hand of Yahweh will fall with a very severe plague upon your livestock that are in the field, the horses, the donkeys, the camels, the herds, and the flocks. But Yahweh will make a distinction between the livestock of Israel and the livestock of Mitzrayim, so that nothing of all that belongs to the people of Israel shall die. And Yahweh set a time, saying, Tomorrow Yahweh will do this thing in the land. And the next day Yahweh did this thing. All the livestock of the Mitzrites died, but not one of the livestock of the people of Israel died. And Pharaoh sent, and behold, not one of the livestock of Israel was dead. But the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the people go. And Yahweh said to Moshe and Aharon, Take handfuls of soot from the kiln, and let Moshe throw them in the air in the sight of Pharaoh. It shall become fine dust over all the land of Mitzrayim, and become boils breaking out in sores on man and beast throughout all the land of Mitzrayim. So they took soot from the kiln and stood before Pharaoh, and Moshe threw it in the air, and it became boils breaking out in sores on man and beast. And the magicians could not stand before Moshe because of the boils, for the boils came upon the magicians, and upon all the Mitzrites. But Yahweh hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he did not listen to them, as Yahweh had spoken to Moshe. <clears throat> then Yahweh said to Moshe, Rise up early in the morning and present yourself before Pharaoh and say to him, Thus says Yahweh, the Elohim of the Evrim, Let my people go, that they may serve me. For this time I will send all my plagues on you yourself, and on your servants and your people, so that you may know that there is none like me in all the earth. For by now I could have put out my hand and struck you and your people with pestilence, and you would have been cut off from the earth. But for this purpose I have raised you up, to show you my power, so that my name may be proclaimed in all the earth. You are still exalting yourself against my people and will not let them go. Behold, about this time tomorrow, I will cause very heavy hail to fall, such has never been in Mitzrayim from the day it was founded until now. Now therefore send, get your livestock and all that you have in the field into safe shelter, for every man and beast that is in the field and is not brought home will die when the hail falls on them. Then whoever feared the word of Yahweh among the servants of Pharaoh hurried his slaves and his livestock into the houses. But whoever did not pay attention to the word of Yahweh left his slaves and livestock in the field. Then Yahweh said to Moshe, Stretch out your hand toward the Shamayim, so that there may be hail in all the land of Mitzrayim, on man and beast and every plant of the field in the land of Mitzrayim. Then Moshe stretched out his staff toward the Shamayim, and Yahweh sent thunder and hail, and fire ran down to the earth and Yahweh rained hail upon the land of Mitzrayim. There was hail and fire flashing continually in the midst of the hail, very heavy hail, such as had never been in all the land of Mitzrayim since it became a nation. The hail struck down everything that was in the field in all the land of Mitzrayim, both man and beast. And the hail struck down every plant of the field and broke every tree of the field. Only in the land of Goshen, where the people of Yisrael were, was there no hail. Then Pharaoh sent and called to Moshe and Aharon and said to them, This time, this time I, have I have sinned. sinned. Yahweh, Yahweh is in the, in right, the right, and I and my, my people, people are in the, are wrong. In the wrong. Plead, Plead with, Yahweh, with Yahweh, for there has, for there been, has enough been enough of Elohim's, of Elohim's thunder, thunder and hail. And hail. I, will I will let you let go, you go and, and you shall stay, stay no, longer. no longer. Moshe said to him, As soon as I have gone out of the city, I will stretch out my hands to Yahweh, the thunder will cease, and there will be no more hail, so that you may know that the earth is Yahweh's. But as for you and your servants, I know that you do not yet fear Yahweh Elohim. 
The flax and the barley were struck down, for the barley was in the ear and the flax was in bud. But the wheat and the emmer were not struck down, for they are late in coming up. So Moshe went out of the city from Pharaoh and stretched out his hands to Yahuwah. And the thunder and the hail ceased, and the rain no longer poured upon the earth. But when Pharaoh saw that the rain and the hail and the thunder had ceased, he sinned yet again and hardened his heart, he and his servants. So the heart of Pharaoh was hardened, and he did not let the people of Israel go, just as Yahweh had spoken through Moshe. Amen.